All right, what is up Fishaholics? And uh, today I'm out here on False Bar at around 7 p.m. I have about, you know, an hour and a half before dark and uh, decided to come out here on a beautiful evening with my buddy Mike because for the last couple days there's been some gator blues here around False Bar, North Bar. And, uh, you know, therefore we're gonna try and get into some gator chopper blues. You know, that's pretty much been the bulk of the fishing right around you know these waters or these areas here and I got a big blue chasing my pencil popper right in front of me here I hope you guys saw that so uh, you know the last couple days there's been some pretty intense fishing and right now it is the beginning of the outgoing tide which is a prime time to target false bar and uh, you know try and catch you know fish just in general you know, if there was stripers here, you know, they'd also probably be biting as well. I might have a chance at, you know, a bass if I'm lucky today, but most of the fish in this video are going to be big blues, so if you like big blues, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's catch some fish. Mike just hooked up on a fish way out on the end of his cast. Screaming drag. You guys really can't see him because of the light, but... I'm telling you now, he's hooked into a pretty decent sized fish. If you walk further out, I'll be able to catch you in the camera. The fish is almost at Block Island right now. Gonna stop off and get a drink at the bar. Connecticut, oh, ho, ho. gonna stop off at Foxwoods. Oh, he stopped off at Block, got a drink, on his way to Foxwoods. Oh, just had a big blow up right here in front of me, not paying attention. This big fish is using the tide to its advantage. We've only been fishing here for how long? Like 10 minutes or so? Mike's first fish, the first fish of the evening actually. And uh, this might be a giant right here. Now it's a big blue. Big, big fat blue. One hook, you gotta get him. Got the leader. Get the... Bring him in for a measurement. Mike got him. He got him. Woo! Hold him up. That's a uh, that's a big girl. All right, Mike got his gator blue. Hopefully, I can find a couple gator blues. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Eat it, come on, eat it. Eat it, I know you want it. Oh, there he is. Got him. Today I'm fishing with my nine foot medium moderate action St. Croix Triumph Surf Casting Rod. Rigged with my 250 van stall. Nice gorilla right there, probably 27 maybe, 28 inches. Woo! On a one and a half ounce Gibbs pencil popper. Let him calm down a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab him. He isn't hooked that bad, so should be nice and easy. I'm guessing close to 28 probably. 27 or so. Woo! I can catch these all day. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a that's a toad right there. Oh, look at that. Flying out of the water. This is probably 30 inches or up. Look at this fish. Bend that rod. Pound for pound, bluefish are definitely one of the hardest fighting fish in the ocean. Oh, gotta love that. Yeah, I give it an 8.2. Definitely easy 30 inch fish right there. Doesn't want to give up though.
Whoa! He's taking off now. <laughs> he did not want to call it quits. I'm just gonna bring him to the beach and get an accurate measurement on this fish here. Okay, let's uh, get an accurate measurement here. That is a 31 inch bluefish, easily 31 inches. It's not a bad blue, getting a little bit bigger. So far I got one that was around 27, 28. And then, uh, you know, my second fish of the night, or the evening, already a 31 inch fish. Maybe I'll get like a 15 pounder tonight. You know, something around 36 inches, that would be pretty sweet. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Snaking his way through the shallows, trying to get out to the deeper water. Come on, stop messing around. Pull the minnow in. Pull that sea bass in. Not a bad one, 28 inch, 29. Oh, he wants it. He's out there. He's chasing it. Oh, there he is. Oh, this might be a little one, though. I guess that tells you there's sand eels. Uh, Small sand eels. You know, around in our waters right now. I think a big... Um, Mass of bait just came in. You know that's why all these blues are here. They came in with the bait, probably. I can do it. Oh, there he is! Fishaholic doesn't drop phones in the water. <laughs> so if I drop it in the water, it's over. <laughs> Good size mini gator blue. You know, maybe another year or two, and this bluefish here will be, you know, probably around 10 pounds. Oh! Oh, I got him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Did she size that one? Oh, there he is. The one that missed it was real big. I'm very upset rock and roll is closed. That was my place. All right guys, so keep closely looking at my rod tip because that's gonna help you while you guys are out on the water fishing pencil poppers. You wanna basically jerk it up and down. You, know, you can do it slower to make that pencil popper go side to side slower or you work it faster, jerking back and forth to make that pencil popper go faster back and forth. And in addition to the, you know, up and down jerks of the rod, you want to have a nice, slow, steady retrieve while you're jerking that rod tip to fish the pencil popper effectively. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Double up. Uh-oh, that's a good one. It's another solid one. <laughs> oh, jeez. I might have another 10-pounder on. Oh, 
Yeah, I gotta. Oh, jeez. This fish is pulling up like crazy. That's a toad. Montauk Toad. <laughs> Man, my arms are killing me right now. I'm so tired. I've been catching bluefish all day. And the big ones decided to bite right in the evening. I think I got a shark. Man, jeez, this gator's pulling hard. Yeah, I think I got his brother. Real big blue, real big one. Definitely the biggest one of the evening right here. Montauk Toad. Nice toad bluefish right there. Let's see if this one's the biggest of the evening right here. Woo! Just on that yellow Gibbs popper right there. That thing is destroyed. Man. Let's get a good length on him. Okay. Easy 34 incher. All right, let's get a nice, healthy release on this toad blue. Get him back on his way. There he goes. I'm following him. Make sure he swims back. Nice and strong. Sometimes you gotta hit them. Hit them with your rod. There he goes. He's gone. Wow. Someone just caught a 15 pounder on my last fish here. Fish is hanging by a thread on one hook here. Oh, let me get him in. Get him by the tail. I like to bend the tail and then they don't flip. All right, there's here's a nice chunky bluefish going back on her way. And I'm gonna walk over here to my buddy Mike. And right now he's releasing a 15 pound bluefish. And I'm gonna check out the release from Mike here. Biggest bluefish right here in the day, 15 pounder caught by. She's the lady in the white shirt, she's super happy. Beautiful, beautiful bluefish, biggest one of the day.
Yeah, I'm done. All right, Fishaholics, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, just post a comment in the comment section below. We're looking in the description below for any more information about the tackle I was using and you know all the links for the information and as well as the conditions that I had today. And uh, never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys out on the water.